Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a real long time but we're back for real now. This is the part 2 of the modern slash office romance manhwa and without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first one is called Positively Yours by Kang Ki and Lee Jung. It is now completed with 72 chapters and its official website is Tapas. He won has a crush on her best friend for a long time, not until she found out that her other best friend got into a relationship with him, leaving He won all alone. To pass some time and ease her loneliness, she decided to go to a bar, have some fun, and maybe meet someone. What happened is she actually met someone and spent a night with him. It's a young, handsome, mysterious man named Do Jun. They never met again, not until she is confirmed to be pregnant with him. Of course, this is a chaotic situation for her and she didn't expect to meet Do Jun again after finding out that her student is his family member. Do Jun, who is wanting to meet her again, became satisfied with this situation. After finding out that she is pregnant, he wanted to take responsibility and marry her. What happened is he won decided to agree with Do Jun supporting her. While they are in this setup, with Do Jun being the CEO of a successful company, their relationship had some struggles but is also developing into something real. I compare, maybe not compare, but place this manhwa in high rank as business proposal. I think if you like that manhwa, you will also feel the same in this one. Positively Yours is also being adapted to K-drama and I hope it will have the same success. This is such an easy read. I might even say that this is the standard when it comes to this genre. The art is beautiful, green flag characters, although there are misunderstandings. Of course, it's an essential element in every modern manhwa. I think they are executed here well and these have a lot of heart-thumping scenes. The second one is called Act Like You Love Me by Su An. It is currently ongoing with 63 chapters and its official website is Webtoon. Ji An is a 25-year-old woman who is struggling to make a living. She is working different part-time jobs all day but is still not sufficient to cover all of her expenses. In addition, she is always tired and almost got no time for herself since she spent them working. When she is given the chance to work part-time on a movie set, she grabbed the chance. The job that she's supposed to do is to be an extra but what happened is she accidentally gets into the room of a famous actor named Do Yoon. He then mistakenly took her as his personal assistant and gave her difficult tasks. Ji Yoon of course follows all of them and at the end of the day, she was exhausted. When she get back to the manager, he scolded her because she missed the actual job and fired her on the spot, leaving her no choice but to go home with no pay. This situation got her thinking about many things, but mostly she's tired of blaming herself all the time when in reality it's not even her fault in the first place. So to get out all this anger, she cursed the stuffed toy beside her, blaming Doyon and saying that he should beg her until she forgave him. The next thing that happened was that there was a sudden ring on her door and when she opened it, it was actually Doyon on his knees begging her to forgive him. It turns out that she acquired the power to basically command Doyon whatever she wants through the doll and that's the premise of the story. Although this is quite a slow burner and story-wise not as good as the first one, they still got a few good moments. It's also not focused on the doll controlling thing and the characters got to develop what they're feeling. I'm not caught up with the chapters but from what I read, I can see the chemistry between the main characters. There is also a love triangle and it's quite entertaining. Nothing really irritates me, the art is good, the male lead is slow in making his moves but it's there. If you run out of things to read, give this a try and for those who have read it, I'm interested in knowing your thoughts about this one. The third one is called Breaking News by Milka. It is now completed with 63 chapters. It currently doesn't have an official English translation but you can read it officially on Naver Webtoon. 
The female lead named Yesu had a long-time crush on one of her upperclassmen in her college. This man is named Kim Min Jun and is known as the youngest main news announcer in the whole of South Korea. When she found out that he is working at this broadcast station, she decided to work part-time in one of the coffee shops that are near it. Occasionally, she would see him because the male lead is a customer there. Upon watching and conversing with him frequently, she was shocked by his personality. It's nothing like she expected. He is cold and kinda ruthless, but as time goes by, she managed to become close to him and break that cold exterior that he has. Their relationship really developed when she became like an intern or something at his company and they spent a lot of time together. It will come to a point where Yusuf feelings will grow stronger and it's all up to Min Jun if he will reciprocate them. This is perfect if you like the fan ex celebrity or grumpy ex sunshine dynamic. Their story is quite not realistic because in real life, you will not meet your idol that easily and talking to them is another struggle but most of these stories are actually not realistic but we still read them to fill our imagination and just feel happy so there's also an age gap here and i think you will like this if you are into the tropes i mentioned it's a fun and light read the fourth one is called his devilish new hire by yoon jung and kim siot it is also completed with 80 chapters and its official website is tapitun Jiyeon is working at a typical workplace in Korea where there are several work thrown at her. The most terrible aspect that this job has is the CEO named Ma Sung Joon. Her co-workers agree that he is a really terrible person. Anyways, she had a crush on one of her co-workers at another department. After a couple of drinks at their assembly party after work, Jiyeon decided to confess her feelings to him. Because of her drunkenness, she didn't know that it wasn't the person that she has a crush on. The person she confessed to was actually her boss, Song Jun. It was a tense moment for the both of them and because of this confession, Song Jun had his eyes set on her. Soon after, this misunderstanding that comes from Jiyeon having an epic fail confession leads to them actually seeing each other eye to eye and developing some feelings. For this one, I would say not to expect much since the story is predictable and quite cliche. Just enjoy the moment because the characters are fun to read. There are also moments between the main characters that are a little embarrassing. The feeling of secondhand embarrassment is real but I don't really see that as a negative aspect because I find these moments amusing to me. Maybe if it's too much, that is when I'm going to drop it but I didn't find it annoying to the point that I will drop it. And as I say, the characters and the scenarios therein are fun to read. The last one is called, If you give me flowers, I'll give you myself by Eugen Cho and KNR. It is now completed with 65 chapters and its official website is Tapitun. Hewon, the female lead, found out that she has a terminal illness. After finding out, she figured that she wanted to make the most of her life by having the goal of finding a rare flower and naming it after herself. She kept her illness a secret and flew out to a different country where she coincidentally met a stranger who helped her when she faced some difficulties. This man is named Yeon Sung and is currently also running away to avoid the family issues given that he doesn't want to be the inheritor of his family's company. These two became close and even formed a special relationship with each other. What happened is that Hewon was actually misdiagnosed and due to other circumstances, they both need to go back to Korea separately. Apparently, the percentage of meeting each other again is low and there were no promises made but later they will meet again after being assigned on the same project. Will the feelings that both of them once had in the past will also come back? It's a very nice manhwa. It had a unique art style. The story is also different from the others. The characters are well written, 
like they are their own person and they make reasonable judgments. The couple is also good. It also has angst somewhere when they are separated for a short time, deep yearning, and long distance relationship. As you can see and as I mentioned a couple of times, these stories might be a cliche when for example compared to historical romance manhwa, some of the plots are repetitive but it's still fun to give my thoughts about them one by one. Some days, maybe we don't feel like reading complex storylines or we are feeling sad and we don't want a complicated manhwa or story to read. These are the perfect manhwa when it comes to those times light-hearted and silly moments that this manhwa always has and I assure you, they will improve your mood 100% better. That is all for the video. Thank you so much for waiting and watching. Have a good day and I will see you next time.